Hello and welcome back to another Doctor Who action figure review. Another year, another round of B&M sets, and I've been lucky enough to have been sent one to review. So, today, I'll be taking a look at the next set in the History of the Daleks line, which features two Daleks from Resurrection of the Daleks. Taking a look at the packaging, it's the same design that was introduced last year. On the front, we've got the logo on the top left, the name of the story the set is from on the right, the TARDIS graphic on the bottom left, a pop-out with the Doctor's era, along with the name of the set and a gold limited edition sticker. On the right, there's two pop-outs detailing the scale of the figures and what is included in the box. The sides are quite plain, with the Doctor Who logo and name of the set on both, and the contents of the set on the right. The back of the box has all the logos and diamond pop-outs featured elsewhere, along with a big blurb about Resurrection of the Daleks. I'll start by taking a look at the Supreme Dalek. I know a lot of people were upset that the set skipped over Resurrection last year, so it's nice to see them backtrack to include it. I never got the original Resurrection of the Daleks set back in 2011, but from what I can tell there are a few differences here and there. Starting at the top, the Dalek is primarily painted in a glossy black. The original version was shiny but still had a sort of matte look, so I think the old figure was probably closer to the look in the story. The ears are the same Mini Cooper style lights that we've seen on several of the Dalek releases over the last couple of years. The eye stalk is white with concentric discs, and the eyepiece is black with a white eye and black pupil. The next section is entirely black, and again features no new tooling. The shoulder section has alternating black and silver slats, and has the raised oval in the centre. The plunger and gun are both black, and there's some nice red detailing on the end of the gun, which is a nice touch. The skirt section is black with contrast in white hemispheres, and the fender has some nice scuffing and weathering. Overall, this is a nice Dalek variant, and particularly nice for those who didn't get the original. Moving on to the other figure in the set, we've got a grey drone Dalek. This is the less exciting figure, but it's still nice nonetheless. Its base colour is a light grey, which is perhaps a little bit too light for the Dalek it's supposed to represent. It shares all of the same sculpting as the Supreme, but with black offsetting the grey instead of white. The fender has the same scuffing too, which is again a nice touch, but overall there's not too much to say about this figure. At the end of the day, it's just another grey Dalek. Looking at articulation, the Daleks both have the same. The dome spins 360 degrees, the eye stalk pivots up and down, the gun and plunger are on ball joints, and the Daleks are on two static wheels and a caster so can move along a flat surface. Overall, this set is a bit of a mixed bag for me. The Supreme is a nice figure, and while there's nothing wrong with the grey Dalek, it's just a bit boring, which I suppose is more a fault of the story than the set. I just want to say a massive thanks to Character and Evolution PR for sending this over to me review in advance. And thank you very much for watching. I will be back soon to look at some more releases later in the year.